Okay guys, so today we're going to talk about how to draw covalent bonds and how to complete the Bonding Basics Covalent Bonds Worksheet. So we'll start by doing a couple of examples from the chart at the top of the worksheet. So, for carbon we want to know the number of protons. So we look at carbon here on the periodic table and we see that the atomic number of carbon is 6 and the atomic number tells us how many protons are in an atom. So carbon has 6 protons which are positively charged. So in a neutral atom we know that the number of protons is the same as the number of electrons so there must also be 6 electrons in a carbon atom and those are negatively charged. So to figure out valence electrons, we look at carbon's position on the periodic table, and it's right here in group 4A. And this tells us that there are four valence electrons in carbon's outer shell. So if there's four valence electrons in the outer shell, we know that the outer shell of carbon can hold up to eight valence electrons. So if it already has four valence electrons, it needs four more electrons to fill its outer shell. Okay, moving on to chlorine. Chlorine is right here in group 7A, and its atomic number is 17, so there are 17 protons in chlorine. If there's 17 positive protons, we need 17 negative electrons for a neutral atom. To find the number of valence electrons, again, we look at the group number of chlorine. So chlorine is right here. It's in group 7A, so it has 7 valence electrons. Its outer orbital can hold a total of 8 electrons, so chlorine is looking for one more electron to fill its outer shell. 8 minus 7 equals 1. And on to hydrogen. Hydrogen is right here. Atomic number is 1. So hydrogen has 1 positive proton and it's the same number of electrons. It has 1 negative electron. So we look at hydrogen's position here on the periodic table. It's in group 1A, so it has one valence electron. But instead of eight, hydrogen's outer shell can only hold two because it's the first orbital, so it needs one more electron to fill its outer shell. Again, the first orbital can hold two electrons, the second can hold eight, third can hold eight, and so on. Okay, so moving on to drawing covalent bonds. We'll draw the first one here between hydrogen and hydrogen. As we wrote up here, hydrogen has one valence electron. So if we were going to draw the model of a hydrogen atom, we would have hydrogen and then we would have one electron on its first orbital. But so here we are creating a covalent bond between two hydrogen atoms. A hydrogen atom has one valence electron and it's looking for one more valence electron to complete its outer shell. So the, or the covalent bond between two hydrogen atoms would look like this. Hydrogen, the first hydrogen with one valence electron. The second hydrogen with one valence electron here. So we have two hydrogen atoms, a total of two electrons, both being shared between the hydrogen atoms. So when we have sharing of electrons, that's what we call a covalent bond. So each hydrogen atom is happy because it has two valence electrons, its first orbital is full. Okay, moving on to hydrogen and oxygen. So hydrogen, like we said, has one valence electron, and oxygen, if we look at the periodic table, is right here in group 6A, so it is going to have 
six valence electrons. So let's go ahead and draw the Bohr model of an oxygen atom. We have our element symbol here. We have our first orbital which if we look at oxygen's atomic number is 8, we know it has a total of 8 electrons. So we fill the first orbital with 2 electrons, and we move on to the second orbital. And oxygen is going to have 6, as we said from its position on the periodic table, it has 6 valence electrons. So it's looking for 2 more to get to a full octet of 8 in its outer orbital. So, oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. So it's missing an electron here and here to be full and to be a complete octet. So we also know that hydrogen has one valence electron. So we could go ahead and give it one valence electron from hydrogen here. So we have a covalent bond between hydrogen and oxygen here. These electrons are shared. Hydrogen is given that one here. And we see that oxygen is still not satisfied. It still doesn't have a complete octet. So we're going to need another covalent bond here between another hydrogen atom. So this hydrogen is going to share its valence electron with oxygen. Hydrogen is happy because it has two in its first orbital, which can only have two, and oxygen is happy because it has eight valence electrons in its outer orbital.